Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are talking about a white 4175 four wheel drive tractor made by Ertl. This is a 132nd scale tractor. I got this from Dalton's Farm Toys. Um, a little bit about the tractor. It was made in the late 70s into early 80s. White was a part of the Agco Corporation, which uh, which White bought out Minneapolis, Moline, Oliver, and Cox Shut Tractors, and then made them all into one brand of White. Um, this is one of early an early White model. They uh, made a four one seventy five, a four one eighty. Was their big one all the way up until they come out with like a they also had a 4210 4220 4280 um several other models um but i know uh i think this was one of the smaller ones uh it has a v8 cat motor i believe it's a 3208 cat i not a hundred percent sure on that but uh we'll take a look at the box here um it's an open box you don't get no like protective there or anything which i like because it's one that you can uh, leave in the box and keep displayed in your uh, collection uh, here gives you a little bit of details about the tractor uh, like i said it was made late 70s to early 80s 175 horsepower uh it says original price in 1983, which was fifty-four thousand um, dollars. Shows twenty thousand four hundred twenty pounds. Has a Caterpillar ten point four liter V eight engine. And if you come around here on the back, they just uh, advertise some of the things that they offer. Um, move this light here. Um, some of the other toys that they offer. Uh, this toy has actually been out for a while. Um, I believe this has been out for better part of a decade. Uh, 2014, so not far off. Um, as you can see here, here's normal bottom of just about every Agco toy tractor. They all have this on the bottom. Um, so... Now we'll uh, take a minute here and I'll get this out of the box and we'll go over the tractor. I'll give you my thoughts and my opinions. All right, now we're back. Um, something neat about this tractor, if you can't tell by the sign I had made in the background, I am a big white farm equipment guy. Um, just about anything Agco, but I love white tractors and I love Minneapolis Moline. They are my two favorites. Um, I also like Alice Chalmers and Oliver's, but Whites and Minneapolis Moline's are my favorites. Um, I think they were just kind of like the oddballs, and that's what I like. Um, we'll go into the details here of the tractor. Um, now, this isn't no spec cast tractor or anything like that with a lot of detail. It's made by Ertl, and I they intended it to pl be played with. It's not really a collector's edition tractor or anything like that, although these are increasing in value. Um, I believe whenever they originally come out, they were only like $40, and now I'm seeing them $65, $75, $80. $70. So... If you're wanting one, better uh, find one and jump on it quick because these are only increasing in value. Uh, that being said, here we can take a look. It's got, uh, I don't know why they went with this style of hitch. But instead of the normal just round hole, eye hole to hook things to, you have this uh, like a pedal mount or something uh, like what you would call. As you can see, you got your PTO here, um, your slow moving vehicle. Uh, you have a place here to hook a third link. If that was something, you know, if you wanted to customize them, you got a place here where your third link goes. Um, not a lot of detail on the fenders other than the gas tanks. Um, 
I don't know. I, you, I would have thought that they would could have at least put some lights back here and stuff. But like I said, these were meant to be played with and not to be collectible whenever they originally were released. Uh, not a lot of detail back here. You do got your lights on top of your cab and everything. Um, take it to the side here. You got your step ladder to get in the cab. Uh, cab door does not open. Um, then we'll take a look here at the front. Uh, as you can see here, here's your lights. And you got windows here under the cab. Uh, you got the lights in the front end grill here. Here's your breather, and here's the air stack or the exhaust stack. Um, this is like one of those rubber ones that kind of bend easily. Um, so if you do get one and this is bent, probably just a little bit of heat, you'd be able to put it back where it was. Um, you do see a little of detail. Of the engine here you can see the exhaust manifolds here and the valve covers a uh, little touch I think would have been neat if it said cat or something on the valve cover like the way that they do come um, underneath not a lot of detail but you do have these uh, like articulation actuators uh, is what I would call them here and here um, I've never seen one of these customized, although I think it'd be really neat one to customize, although, like I said, they are increasing in value. There is a Farm Toy Museum version that is the 4180, or the 4210, I can't remember off the top of my head, that has more detail, is very detailed, uh, as compared to this. I believe it comes with a three-point hitch. And some different decals and stuff. Um, hopefully that this will be something that they will update. They'll have like the bigger models. I'd really like to see a uh, updated 4270. Uh, that would be great in both 164 and up scales. That'd be really neat. Um, now a lot of these whites I always seen. They always had this little red dot here like on the hubs. Uh, this one don't have it. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of detail to these. Um, if we can get in here, you can actually maybe see some of the details there in the cab. Um, let me see if I, what I can do here. There you go. Uh, you can actually see the dash. I do kind of like the way that they did that. Just a simple little touch. I'm glad that they did. Uh, which is kind of interesting that they would do that and left everything else on the tractor really plain. Um, like I said, not a lot of details. But this is a great tractor. I think if... Uh, you know, this falls back to if you're into collecting Agco or articulated four-wheel drive tractors um, and you're wanting some variety to your collection, this would be all right. Or even if you wanted to get a younger one into it, this would be great for them too. Um, like I said, I know the prices are increasing on these, but you can still sometimes find deals on these at toy shows in different places as long as you're willing to look um but i thank you for stopping by and watching i hope that you'll come back and follow more of my videos as i post them i try to post once a week and uh as time goes along i've got a big announcement to make uh, whenever it gets closer to time and uh hope to see everyone back and i'll keep the toy reviews coming. Thank you for watching.